Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So this morning I am going to start my little studio redecoration project. When I first moved all my stuff into this room I didn't paint it to start with and there are a lot of cracks and just general wear and tear of this room that needs to be fixed. Um, and I've also bought some new storage units um, to store things in. So everything's kind of getting a rejig and a refresh. I'm really excited to do this because I feel like it's gonna really make my creativity much more fast paced. <laughs> and this lockdown has shown me that I clearly am obsessed with decorating rooms. I've done about one, two, three rooms, four rooms in the house <laughs> since lockdown started. So now I'm doing my own room and I'm very excited. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm going to show you what the room looks like now um, so that you can see the difference when it's finished. And yes, I've got a lot of moving things around in this room today to get them away from the walls and take all the stuff off the walls so that I can paint, which is going to be a mission. And I feel like it's going to be a big job, but once it's done, it's going to be so satisfying. So this is my studio at the moment. This is where you walk in. I have some storage over here and my piano is just there. Um, I didn't bother putting the ironing board away because I'm going to have to move out of the room anyway. And then this thing over here is going to be tricky to move. Probably going to have to just take everything out of there and move it away from the wall a little bit. Um, the sofa is going to have to come out and be covered over with some sheets. These bits are going to all have to come off the wall and I'm going to take this big thing off so I can paint behind it. And then over here, this cabinet here is going to move over to this side. This is going and it, that will stay there. Um, I kind of want to make this less of a dumping ground down here, um, which We'll see how that goes. I've bought some storage to go under here to hopefully tidy this bit up a bit. Um, and this will probably just be tidied up a bit. So yeah, a lot of moving things around today. I think the Vogue's are probably going to take the longest time to transport. To be honest, they can stay in this room. It's just the thing that they're on is not staying in this room. First things first is to take all of these things off the wall. So I'm going to do that now. finished covering all of the items in this room that are staying in here for now um, just to hopefully paint doesn't get on them and I've also covered around sockets with tape I used frog tape which I actually only recently discovered during lockdown because it was the only tape we could get hold of and it's 
really good for decorating. It's so much better than masking tape. Um, so yeah, very highly recommend it. Now I'm gonna go around and fill in any holes that need filling and try and sort out this sort of cracking situation. is now done in here it took quite a while because there's quite a lot of wool um, but it's so much quicker with a roller I've been decorating the house with just a brush because um, rollers can be pretty splattery but I just had to do it with this wall um, so yeah I'm gonna get on and do the second coat now. now the next day and the room is nice and white and so I'm going to start putting a few things back into place and then I'm going to build the IKEA things um, because some of them need to be built before other things get moved back, etc, etc. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to move some things back and then I can get building my IKEA stuff. I've cleared some space on the floor oh, and, I'm <laughs> and I'm out of breath because this is so heavy. I don't remember Ikea stuff being this heavy but um, maybe it's the type of wood they used for this one, it's so heavy. But this is just the little Iva chest of drawers which I'm going to put underneath my <sighs> desk. <laughs> the next day um, we got quite a lot done yesterday I had mum helping me in the end build um, the cabinet because it was proving quite tricky to put together and just awkward to like hold bits and to screw in other bits and yeah so I'll show you how much we got done yesterday I'm not gonna lie it took me a while to find this camera <laughs> because I feel like everything is a bit of a mess in here so this is how much of the cabinet we got built yesterday um it's got some more shelves to go in but we just wanted to get it in place and in the right position because these bits were really tricky to sort of get hovering and onto this yeah i've got the doors and the shelves in here to put on and obviously more shelves in the main bit but for now I need to move this table over so that I can get to the doors to do that um, the table isn't centered to the window at the moment anyway so if I push it that way it will be which will be nice I might put the um, extra shelves on just now because then that will get it out of the way also finished the chest of drawers but I don't think it's going to live here anymore I think I might put it over by the window over there I also very stupidly didn't take into account that my desk has a weird bit at the back so it doesn't fit but that's fine just gotta put it somewhere else I also assembled these boxes like fabric-y boxes from Ikea yesterday 
and I think this is what I'm going to put fabric in, but I haven't decided if I want to put them on show or not just yet. Okay, now I'm trying to decide if the boxes should just sit on top or sit on there. Hmm. I might just put the next shelf in at that height anyway and then see if another one needs to go in or not. This is as far as I've got with the cabinets so far. Um, they are all finished, um, building wise, and I built this little mirror that goes next to it. That was a bit more than I usually spend on a mirror, but I always see this one on Ikea and I always want it, and it actually works out really well for storing my rolls behind it. So that's perfect. It's meant for like hanging clothes behind it, but kind of in a bad space for doing that so that clears those all away from that part of the wall which is amazing and now I'm going to tackle my Vogue's they're not all gonna go up on here because they just get so heavy that they'll probably bend any furniture well they do bend any furniture <laughs> so I think I'm going to sort through because um, they're not in the right years and they're not in corresponding dates and everything which has been bugging me for so long um so i'm going to sort them into years and months <laughs> so that's my next job and then a few of them are going to go up there but not all of them This is Flory's fifth thing. <laughs> if you like talked when I talked through a wrapping paper tube. Flory! <laughs> you like this when I talk to you like this. No. <laughs> Mummy's going to do the rest of her room. <laughs> hello. Hello. Oh, oh, hello. Flory, are you too cute? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. yeah, tired. So this morning I'm just going to be tidying up the rest of the studio and also doing little cosmetic changes. <laughs> I change up this pin board behind me because that's quite old now and I've also got this cabinet over here. Yesterday I was so tempted to just get another one of these, these <laughs> cabinets to match so that everything in this room was kind of light wood but I think I'm just gonna make do with this cabinet and put like an old-fashioned ruched um, fabric in size so it looks a bit lighter because I do really like this piece of furniture and it reminds me a lot of Winchester where I went to uni 
um, because I got it on the day I moved out of Winchester and came back home. So, so it's quite a nice little bit of memory to have in this room as a bit of furniture. I do need to send the mirror back though, which is really annoying. Um, let me show you. I love this mirror so much and it didn't annoy me for too long, but it's this little bit at the top. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's, it's more bumpy in real life. It's kind of at the top, it's warped a bit so it doesn't actually fit the mirror into the frame and that just really annoys me. So I'm going to take it back and hopefully get it replaced. This is how the cabinets are looking this morning. Um, I didn't want to put too much on them because I didn't want to weigh down things because this is these are all full of fabric so they're kind of quite heavy anyway. Um, but then I have a few little bits and bobs. I'll go through everything once I've completely finished the room. Overlocker and my sewing machine fit in here and I can get them out easy enough. Because they used to be under here and it would just look so messy but now I've just sort of got some vogues piled up there. <laughs> I think the first job is going to be to put the stuff behind this because I've just sort of shoved all the books in here now. Um, all of my sewing stuff is now on the other side of the room which will be really helpful. This has just got all my fashion books and other books. Yeah, I'm going to get started and cover this. I think I'm going to try um, putting Velcro along, Velcro strips along here and in the middle and at the bottom um, and then stitching down the gathers. So, see how this goes. That is the cabinet finished now. I feel like that looks so much better. It also just hides all of the stuff inside so it doesn't matter if it looks pretty inside. Um, I've kept the boxes on the top. They just have like new in blogger mail things. Um, and I actually didn't use the Velcro in the end. I just used double-sided sticky tape, which I don't know how long that's going to last for, but Double-sided sticky tape is actually pretty good with fabric, so I've just stuck it to the inside. So for the next job I wanted to put these little dried bunny tails in a smaller vase because when they arrived um, like last week, these took like two months to arrive, two to three months to arrive. Um, so don't order from China, um, well you can, but I also ordered pampas grass but that just hasn't arrived at all and I haven't heard back from the company or eBay on that so don't risk doing that. But yeah, for now I'm just going to chop these so they're a bit shorter and then hopefully I can put them somewhere up there. So it's been a few days since I've filmed anything in this room, but I think it's pretty much finished to how I wanted it to be. So as you come in, this is what the studio looks like. Mm -hmm. To your left, I just have this cabinet thing, which I had before sitting here um, with my ironing board tucked behind it. Then up here, I've got a fake plant that my friend Amber bought me my birthday last year. That light back there is from Ikea. And then I've got another Ikea light there. This is my piano under here. And then this is one of the units I built in this video. This is Iva um, chest of drawers. And then this chair was from Ikea a while ago. It was in like the bargain corner or something. 
Um, they definitely don't do that anymore. The white pillows are from Ikea and this fluffy one was from TK Maxx. These baskets I was hoping to not have in here but I just don't have enough room still for fabric and I actually quite like the way they're stored in there. Um, blankets and other things kept in this basket. And then something I added to this room is some frames with little artwork in. I didn't really know what to put in just yet but I have these Polaroids that I took in the new forest of some horses. And I really love these Polaroids, so I thought, why not frame them? I am waiting for some Velcro so I can properly secure it at the top, middle and bottom, but um, yes, at the moment it's still holding up with um, double-sided sticky tape, which is quite amazing. And sofa was from my Ikea. <laughs> Literally everything in this room is from Ikea. This is also new from Ikea, it's a little quilt. I just thought it was so sweet and it goes really well with the sort of neutral colour scheme I'm going for. Got my pegboard up there and then this mirror is a new addition to the room. I love it so much. It's so huge um, and it's got this bit at the back that's meant for hooking like coats and clothing on but it actually works perfectly to hold up all my rolls of pattern paper and fabric. And then here is the main part of this new redecoration in here. I'm so obsessed with this Ivy unit. I've tried to keep the shelves pretty minimal at the moment. I've just got boxes of um, trims and things I need for sewing. All my sewing stuff is now in this cabinet basically. I have a few Vogues up here, some Polaroids. This little lamp is like my favourite thing ever. It's, um, I found it on Etsy when I was looking for like vintage glass lamps um, and it was actually really reasonable. I just think it's quite cool. I don't actually have it on very often because I worry that it gets too hot and going right above wood would probably not be a good idea. And then up here I have some little dried bunny tails. Not real bunnies, don't worry. <laughs> and this pot is, I think, from Poundland actually. It was like a salt shaker, but I just took the top off and I'm using it as a little vase. Got some more Vogues and this vintage napkin or handkerchief that I found in a vintage shop and I just loved the embroidery on it, so I just stuck it on that hat. <laughs> Over the other side, I've still got my rail in here and my mannequin just sitting over here. I've then got the unit that I had already that was over the other side of the room. And I've just popped that there. And my pegboard is nice and clear, ready for my next little collection. And then finally, we have my desk area, which I just changed out the pots from being blue to white. And I put some Vogues down there because my Vogue collection is a little bit ridiculous. Um, the desk is also from Ikea. I don't know if they still do this one, but I really like it. I need to go through these drawers and declutter these because they're just full of really, really random bits. <laughs> so happy with how it's turned out. I'm just trying to keep everything really neutral and maybe a little bit pink. <laughs> in this room now and I think it just looks so much more calm and hopefully less messy. So there we go, that's the end of this little room makeover. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment if you want to and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!